going on, Cigar World? What's going on, Cigar Enthusiasts? This is Jack, the Cigar Enthusiast, and I'm back with another video. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, give me a big thumbs up. As a matter of fact, smash on that like button as much as you possibly can. With that being said, today's segment is going over something that I always believe that we need to understand, we need to figure out, and that's how to clean your palate. With that being said, strap in, buckle up, and let's go. What's going on everybody today we're talking about this subject of cleaning your palate and i've just been trying to figure out what is something that i feel i struggle with in the beginning and now this is something that a lot of people tend to struggle with but they don't even know it because obviously they're just constantly smoking and just constantly going on with that being said cleaning your palate is one of the most integral parts and making sure that your taste buds are ready for you to take on more and more cigars. Especially in this time of day where we're smoking two to three cigars a day and you know we're we're constantly going. What's what happens towards the end of that that second into your third, your taste buds are just blown, right? They are exhausted, they are fatigued, and now you're starting to pick up false taste notes from these cigars because what your mouth or what your taste buds is tasting is those previous cigars that you had. Now, there's things that I'm going to equip you with now, so therefore, when you do get to this point, or you are smoking on several cigars in one day, you have some things that you can put in your toolbox that will help you have the ultimate experience with every single cigar that you have. Now, how did this come up to be a thing? I smoke about one cigar to two cigars a day. So, what I, what I realized is, my mouth would get to this point, especially, especially if it's a more of a Maduro Oscuro cigar, it would get to this point where it's super dry. It does not matter what kind of water I drink. It does not matter how many mints I pop. It is dry. Lips feel dry. It's just a worse scenario, uh, especially when you're trying to smoke cigars for the taste and not just, you know, just to be doing something recreational. I, when I smoke cigars, I'm looking for the taste notes. I'm looking for those details that I can pull out of this cigar and translate it to people so we all understand what kind of cigar we're smoking. Now, in order to achieve that, I went on this tangent and started researching different things that I can do to cleanse my palate. At this time, I didn't know this was a thing, so I'm just like, okay, drink water, don't smoke that day, or whatever the case may be. But there's things that Master Blenders that smoke six to seven sticks a day does in order to refresh their palate for them to be able to taste every single blend of cigar they're tasting. Now, I apply that directly to what I do because I get a lot of people offering their sticks and I want to give everybody a fair treatment when it comes to their sticks. So what do I do? I want to cleanse my palate and make sure I taste nothing but their cigar. There's a couple of options I'm going to break down for you, again, to be able to cleanse your palate. Understanding the cleansing palate process and what it actually does. What are you looking for when you cleanse your palate is the acidity and whatever it is that you're drinking in order to get into your mouth and really refresh those taste buds and get them back to where it usually are on a regular basis. Now, understanding that, uh, we can go a little deeper into the acidity and why it breaks down and cleanse your palates and all that, but that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is to really get you the tools that you need, right? So understanding that acidity is what breaks down and naturally cleanses the actual taste buds uh, and refreshes them to be able to taste something else. Uh, now we can understand how these things are going to marinate with each other when it comes to refreshing and go ahead and smoking cigars. A lot of people pair cigars and bourbon. Why? There is a reason why. The reason why is because the bourbon has an acidity in it that would fresh your taste buds and it will allow you to really pull out those flavors from your cigar. 
Now, if you're able to pull out the flavors from your cigar, then now you're able to really give this cigar a well-rounded, 100% dedicated mouth to expose all the notes that you need to figure out if this is even a cigar that you want to continue to smoke. Now, understanding bourbon, uh, it takes us to our next one, which is red wine. Now, the bourbon and slash whiskey, for that matter, both great on an alcoholic beverage. Now, you got to understand, too, these master blenders are able to just, you know, drink all day at work. Um, because at the end of the day, you're not in your full mind once you get too many drinks in there. So in order to clear it out or lower the alcohol content, they would do something more of a red wine, a Cabernet, a dry wine. The dry wine, again, is kind of funny because you would think something more refreshing like a Moscato or Rosado would be something that you want to go to, but more Cabernets is where you want to really go. That dry wine, because that dry wine is actually lubricating your taste buds and the acidity from those very mature grapes are cleaning out your palate while you're smoking your cigar. So those are your alcoholic drinks. But let's get to the things that most people actually use in order to cleanse their palate. The not alcoholic ways to cleanse your palate, which is the things that I typically do on a day in and day out basis to keep them refreshed, is fresh squeezed lemonade or lemon or lime slices in your water. It's very simple. Things that we always see, you always wondered why hotels did that. It's to refresh your palate. It's to make you feel refreshed. When your palate's refreshed, you feel refreshed. They go hand in hand. Now, when you have that lemon or that freshly squeezed lemonade, the acidity from those lemons or those limes are really exfoliating those taste buds that allows you to dive deeper into these cigars. Another fine choice is coffee, preferably Cuban coffee or an espresso, a different things of that nature. What's going to surprise you or wow you is you're not just gonna drink this black because that coffee has such a bitter taste to it. It's not gonna really do what it needs to do. Um, and it's all natural and organic, just like cigars. So you have to add something with acidity in it in order to really cleanse it out. And that acidity additive is sugar, large amounts of sugar. Now me personally, I hate my dang coffee that tastes like a candy bar or something like that. This is probably not something I'm going to do. I will do a coffee, but more of something that is more um, throttled back. So this is something I'm gonna do after I did my lemon water or lime, lime water or that freshly squeezed lemonade like I said. Now, another thing is that's refreshing and also good for your body is water. It's water. Now, one thing about water is you have exhausted your taste buds already. You can drink large amounts of water and your mouth is still going to feel dry. That's just, I'm telling you, this is, I'm talking to me right now because I would drink a whole bunch of water and my mouth would still taste dry. It's like, First of all, this water is supposed to rejuvenate me. This is far from what it's doing. But because your taste buds is exhausted, you need something with acidity in it. And water doesn't typically have a lot of acidity in it. So what do people use in order to replace that? Sparkling water. Sparkling water with the carbonation that's in the sparkling water, it really has this acidity additive in there that allows you to cleanse, right? The biggest thing is when you do these cleanses, you want to make sure you rinse it around, right? But we're gonna cover that in a little further into this video. And then the last thing that you really want to use that is great for everything is Coca-Cola. It's crazy, right? Coca-Cola or any type of soda or pop for that nature. I'm from Chicago, so we say pop. Any type of pop uh, with a large amounts of acidity in it can help cleanse that palate. And you'd be surprised, it's only like a switch just like you're using a mouthwash or something like that, you wanna just swish it around and then swallow it or spit it out, whatever you wanna do. It's not mouthwash or you can sit here and you know just keep having this same problem, right? So the biggest thing is when you're using these palate cleansers or doing these palate cleaning mechanisms, you really want to understand how to do it. Now, I have coffee right here. I'm going to give you an example of what you should do. Now, you grab your coffee, Starbucks. Oh, 
and then you swallow it. And so it's like rinsing. And what you're doing is your palate is your whole entire mouth, okay? And it also goes into your nostrils. So that's why when you smell something, you can also taste that same smell, right? And vice versa, because your palate is everything here. It's your mouth, your nose. Now, when you swish it around, not only are you swishing around, but you're also letting that go into your nostrils, letting that flavors go up there. So therefore, you can cleanse it off. Now, if your palate was fatigued like mine was two days ago, or actually yesterday, it's going to take a little bit more, right? You're going to have to drink some coffee. You might have to do a combination of the two things that I said. It's not just an instant killer or an instant refresher. It takes a little time. But if you want to constantly smoke or you're going to, you know, any type of convention or festival, you want to be able to get things that you know can refresh your palate so you can give sticks a fair shot, all right? Now, everything dealing with palate cleansing is a wrap. I'm Jack the Cigar Enthusiast. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and was able to really learn some great things. If you haven't already, go follow us at Facebook on Dapper D Cigars as well as on Instagram at Dapper D Cigars. And also, for all your cigar needs and wants, go shop DapperDCigars.com for all affordable premium and boutique cigars. With that being said, I'm Jack the Cigar Enthusiast. I hope you guys have a great day. I'm gone.